Hi, my name is Rachel Rutley. I'm a physiotherapist and I work in Cheshire. And this is a 30 minute vigorous exercise session for people with Parkinson's who are already exercising. So before you start, make sure that your space is nice and clear and safe, that you've got enough space to take a large step in each direction and don't forget behind you as well. And we will be standing for the whole of the class. Also make sure that you've got nice sturdy footwear on, maybe trainers that you normally wear to exercise and that you're wearing layers so that if you get warm you can take them off to cool down. Have a drink nearby and any medication that you normally take to hand. Um, there isn't, we don't really need much equipment for this class, just a nice sturdy chair is the only essential thing. This is a high back dining chair but if you have a lower back chair that will be absolutely fine. Just so long as when you take your weight onto it, it isn't going to collapse or slide away from you. If you do have them, a resistance band, an exercise resistance band would be quite useful. So this is a stretchy band that can give us just a little bit of tension and will help us with our arm placement. If you don't have one of those, at the point where we need one, you could use a tea towel. So we can use the tea towel on the diagonal corners and we can make that nice and tense to hold. The other thing that would be quite useful to have is some kind of a floaty scarf. Some people might have these. I prefer you to have two if you do have them, but if you only have one, we can use that and switch it from one side to the other. If you don't have those, and mine are about a foot square, then some other floaty scarf, this is a nice pretty one, it's not square, but we could move that around and use that when we need to. If you need to go and get those things, just stop the video and then come and join us again. Okay, so throughout this class we're going to work our whole body, we're going, to, we're going to work in nice big movements, lots of repetition and moderately vigorous. So if you need to stop at any time then please make sure that you look after yourself well, you take pauses, you stop and have a drink and then join back in as we go along. Okay, if you have any pain or any discomfort or feel unwell then you need to stop during the class. So I'm going to explain each thing that we do as we go along, I'll demonstrate it and then ask you to join in. So take it at your own pace and it should make lots of sense. Okay, so we're going to start with a warm up, we'll go into some stretches, we'll do a small strength section just to really activate our core and stretch out our upper chest and then we'll go into a section where we alternate skills that are really useful for people with Parkinson's uh, with some aerobic exercise as well. All right, so let's start off. So we're gonna start off with some big arm swings, really work our upper chest. So kind of big backstroke movements all the way through and round. So aim for a nice bit of rotation up here. I find people with Parkinson's often get really stiff in their shoulders and particularly in this part as well. So really try and move that round as you go, an exaggerated rotation, nice and steady big big stretch all the way through and round. Do a few at your own pace, shouldn't be painful to stretch, you should always feel good so if your shoulders are a bit sore on one side then make sure your arms don't go up too high. Make this the last one to each side and the other way. Okay then come and get ready again. So we're going to take one arm up to one side, stretch and reach through that side all the way down the side of our body reach 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 as tall as you can keep breathing and down do the same to the other side stretch to that side of your body all the way through and tall reach 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 and hold keep breathing and down we'll do one more to each side work at your range of movement so where it's comfortable for your shoulders to go to it shouldn't hurt don't make anything painful and then the other side nice big reach make sure you're not holding your breath and down. So we're going to get a bit more active, we're going to do some marching on the spot, so let's go. So just a nice gentle march, we're going to march for a minute and we'll take the level up uh, within the minute. So we'll start off nice and slow, just wake everything up, aim for nice loose arms, lift your upper chest, really really work through the marching section, so nice and steady. Now at this point, if you want to start getting vigorous already, then you can just take it up a bit higher, higher knees, bigger stamps. We're gonna do that after 30 seconds anyway. So start to work up and maybe be a bit big, more vigorous. So bigger movements with your arms, higher knees, louder stamps like I am, nice and tall. Let's keep this going through for a full minute. 
nice and steady. So if you want to work really hard, you can go even higher. Just watch your balance. Remember, we've got to get through the whole class, so pace yourself. Very nice. So high, high knees. We'll go for a little bit longer. We're nearly there. And take a deep breath. So we're going to alternate high knees. Shake out your legs if your hips are aching here. We're going to alternate that with a deep knee bend and a heel flip. So when we do a deep knee bend in this class, we want to stick our bottoms out and keep our chest up. If you find that you're dropping that way, but not really bending, then you need to go back up again. Stick your bottom out and lift your chest and make sure that your hips are free. So we're going into that position. We're going to flick our heels up towards our bottom and move our weight. If you find that your chest is collapsing, then just put your hands out and really work into it. So let's get going. Let's go. Deep bend, heel flick. Over to each side. So a nice bit of movement to one side and the other. Very nice. Down and over. Keep it going. Well done. Keep it going. So we'll do these a while. We'll go back into high knees and we'll do another set of these. So we're going to do these as a continuous group of exercises. Take a, a breather if you need to. So two more on each side. One more on each side. Good. And straight into high knees. So up and tap if you want to. If that's too much or you don't want to work at that level, then hover the hand across. Nice and slow, not too fast. So you want to be nice and balanced. So don't overdo things and lose your balance. Nice and steady, high if you want to. And remember, we're going to go back into the deep knee bend and the heel flicks. So pace yourselves. Very good. Well done. We're nearly there. Two more on each side. Last one. And down. So bend your knees, flick your heels. Bend your knees, flick your heels. So the lower you go, the more momentum you need to get up, down and up. Push and push and flick, push and flick, push and flick. Very good. If you don't want to work quite as deep, then can you do a little bob and up, down and up. Very nice. Down and up. Or go all the way down, all the way up. Nearly through this section. Well done, guys. Good work. Down and up. Lovely. Nearly there, two more. Last one. Good. And shake out your legs. Okay, so we're feeling warmer. Just this last section, I want to work on just helping you get your weight onto your toes. So we want to lift our heels and take our weight onto our toes and see how good we are at being light on our feet. So one of the components of being light on our feet is being light up here in our chest. So if we're heavy here, it's much harder, much harder work for your feet to make you light. So take your arms up as well and have your elbows by your side and kind of force those ribs up out of your waist. Make them lift. So stay on your toes, heels up and see if you can get this light on your feet feeling, moving side to side with your heels off the floor. Nice and gentle movement. Think of dancing, how we move when we dance. It's the same kind of process, nice and gentle. And really wake, that, wake up that memory in your, in your brain. You should feel nice. Good. And take a breather and just shake out your calves. We'll do one more, one more related movement with that. So we'll go into our, our heels off the floor, so our weight on our toes. And we're going to move in different directions. So what we want to do here is check that our feet are going to correct our position quickly and without us having to look at the floor. So we want to feel it. Remember to be safe behind you. Check that too. Change direction. So really work into how light you are on your feet. Keep your elbows moving if you need to. Lift your ribs. Nice and gentle. Make sure you've done every direction and it feels good and you're ready to do things. Okay, well done. So I'm gonna use the back of the chair and we're just gonna do a few stretches and some deep rotation stretches as well. Okay, so use the back of the chair if you need to. We're going to stand on one knee and let it bend. Take the heel of the other foot down, bring the toes back towards us and bend from the hips here. So not dropping in the chest, 
bending from the hips. And you should feel a stretch down the back of that straight leg. So really hold that stretch nice and steady. Don't bounce into stretches, it's not wise, it doesn't do you any good. And don't overstretch. So if your leg feels trembly, you've gone too far, come out of it and go back into it. So always let the stretch find the tension in your muscles. And when it finds an area of tension, stop and let the stretch just ease it through. So stand up, take a breather, go to the other side, the same thing. So bend the back leg, take the heels down, put the toes back. You should feel a nice stretch down the back of that leg. Just hold that, let the tension work its way through your muscles, nice and carefully. Chest up as always, and no bouncing. Well done. Okay, so hold that just a little bit longer. Very good. And stand up. We're going to do a deeper calf stretch. So I'm going to hold the back of my chair. I might lean on it a little bit. You don't need to. One foot back, one foot forward, front knee bent, back heel down, and the back knee is nice and straight. So nice and careful, no bouncing on these stretches. Really careful, gentle tension working its way through your muscles, into your calf muscle of the back, mu of the back leg, and hold it. So just let that tension ease through with a nice stretch. So don't overdo these, you don't want to pull your muscles, you don't want a muscle tear, it won't help. It's not good. So if it's painful, you need to stop, but it shouldn't be painful, it should be a stretch. So do that on both sides, just once. So both feet facing straight, back heel down, back knee straight, front knee bends, and use the chair for balance. well done and just hold that for one more a few more seconds very good okay and then stand yourself up just going to tidy my chair so turn your chair around and you're going to face the chair and the next two exercises are going to be done with your hands flat on the chair so from this position let your knees bend slightly and make sure your tummy's in throughout the whole section so i'll show you the first one so sometimes it's called the mad cat um, it's used in quite a few different disciplines, Pilates, yoga, um, often a lot of physios use this as well. So we're going to drop the head, pull the tummy in and really arch the back and stretch through the shoulders. So really watch that your weight is between your hands and your feet and aim for arching your back and then dropping down to 25% so with your tummy. So don't let your tummy go all the way and arch your back. You want to keep your back nice and flat in between. So when you're ready, get yourself set up, hands on the chair, knees slightly bent, nice and controlled, tummy in already. So pull that tummy in in the place where our food lives after a big meal. And really arch your back and try and lift and drop your head, really lift those ribs like a mad cat. And keep the tummy working and then when you need to go down and breathe keep your tummy at about 25 percent so a nice gentle hold and it will set us up for the rest of the class so do that a few times work at your pace if it's uncomfortable then come out of it and go back into it nice arch of the back drop down to a flat back breathe and again arch the back head down make this your last one Three, really keep the breath going, down to a flat back, and a nice breath, and the tummy should be working. So come up and just stretch out your back before we do the next one. Check you're not dizzy, and make sure that if you are, you just let that settle before we move on. So the next exercise is the same starting position. This is called threading the needle. We're going to have one hand staying on the chair. Again, your knees are softly bent. Your tummy should still be doing that 25% pull in to protect your back. If you have any back pain during these leaning exercises, you need to stop. It shouldn't bother your back. So you're going to take the other hand and take it behind the, the resting hand and thread that through and bend your knees to drop the shoulder down to the chair. And then when you've had enough of that stretch, you go up, really big movement with the hand, 
all the way up to the ceiling. So let's alternate sides, set yourself up, get ready. Okay, so join in when you're ready. I'm gonna get started. We'll take one hand, put it behind the opposite wrist, shoulder down to the chair, all the way up to the ceiling. So that big movement should be nice and powerful. We think about it, down to the deep stretch, all the way up, well done. And keep alternating sides, make sure you're nice and safe, not dizzy, all the way up, very good. Do two more on each side. Give yourself time to stretch the upper back and lots of power all the way through. All the way through and up. Make this one your last one. Very good. All the way up and come up and stand. So nice and steady, move your chair out of the way and make sure you're not dizzy, just let that settle if you need to. Take a drink if you need to as well. Okay, so we're gonna go into our skills session mixed up with some aerobic exercise. So we'll start off with an aerobic section and then we'll just alternate those exercises. So work at your level. If at any point you don't feel right or you're a bit dizzy, then stop and have a drink and then join back in. So we're gonna start off with big side steps, alternating from one side to the other. So I'm gonna show you first, you can work at your own level we're going to take our arms out so that we really work on being big as well. So big step out to one side and the other. So that's the basic level. It's kind of still moderately difficult. If you want to work harder, then you can go onto the balls of your feet and do a little jump in between. So nice and steady, working at being big and powerful rather than fast. So you choose your level. Okay, so get ready, chest up, tummy working, let's go. Out to the side, over to the other side. Take it nice and steady. We'll do about a minute of these. So out, out, alternating that big step. Very nice, the arms are out, just to help keep our chest up. Very good, keep it going. I'm gonna do somewhere I just step. And you can alternate too, you don't need to go at a high level for the whole time. Okay, well done, we're halfway through. Our 30, we're 30 seconds through, our full minute, let's go. So if you want to go faster, just a few, it's up to you. Out, 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 or you can keep the arms out, you're nearly there. Step, 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 step. So you can choose what you do. There's no big rules on these exercises I'm adding today. You can add in a reach. You can have a hold, as long as you're being big. Last one each side, well done. Good, and rest, let your heart rate come down. Okay, so we're going to do power moves. So I'm gonna teach you the power moves. These were developed by some fabulous physiotherapists in America and are based on amplitude training or being big and lots of repetitive movements. So I'll show you the basic power move in an up position first and we'll work into 10 of those and I'll show you how you can use the band or your tea towel if you want to. So the starting position is the same squat that we've used before. So a squat with your bottom sticking out, chest up, knees bent, feet slightly wide. So don't watch for this position as I said before, really unlock your hips like you're sitting down chest up. Now, if we want to keep our chest up, we can use a band or the tea towel, I'll show you that in a minute, to really help us stay there. So it's a nice prompt to remind us to keep our chest up, okay? And because we've got tension, we're gonna have to work there to hold the band in the air. So the movement is all the way down to all the way up. Adjust your feet if it doesn't feel comfortable, like mine didn't, all the way down and hold, all the way up. So with a band, you're all the way down, up to your level of shoulders, and you don't need to stretch wide, but if you want to, that's an add-on. If you want to use your tea towel, you don't have a band, take the tea towel at the opposite corners, roll it round so that it kind of stays steady. It doesn't matter as long as it's away from your face. Use it to tension. Do a practice to see where you want your arms to be, and then hold it here. So I'm gonna use my tea towel. 
For this one, we're going, to, we're going to do 10. Get yourself nicely set up. Hips should be loose, chest up. Let's go. So down and hold, up and reach for one. Back again, get ready and push up. So lots of power in that push. All the way down and hold. Let's go and push. Very good. All the way down and up. Well done. And down and hold and up for five. Very nice. Down and hold, up for six and hold. So really, really strong and a big powerful down and a big powerful up. Very good. All the way down, we've got two to go. All the way up and down and get ready. Last one, really powerful. Well done. Okay, so get rid of your tea towel or your band. Okay, so we'll do a power twist next. So a twist, I'll show you the full movement first. So a twist is arms out wide, twist round to the clapping hands, arms out open, twist round the other way, and then you open in between. So there's a few things we need to prepare with this. We need to be nice and wide with our stance, but we really want to stretch our shoulders. So we'll just do a preparation stretch with this. Take your arms, hands together, go from a clap in front to wide arms. So really work on wide and see if you can get your arms right far back, so behind my torso. So that requires tummy in, so we don't arch our backs and overwork. And it also requires us to be careful of our shoulders. So if that bothers your shoulder, then take your arms lower to get into an alignment that doesn't bother your shoulder. So work at your level. <coughs> Excuse me. Keep going, do a few more, nice and wide, just back to a good stretch. You don't have to stay there for long. Last one, good, okay. Take the arms down and steady. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna do the full movement together. I'm gonna talk us through every movement. We'll do it with me, because often people get a little bit of a struggle with going wide in the middle. So let's do this together, nice and wide. We're gonna work hard, we're gonna work big. Get ready, let's go. Twist and clap, and open. Twist and clap, and open. Nice and wide, twist and clap, and open. Lots of power in those arms. Really work hard, twist and clap, and wide. Twist and clap, and wide. Keep it going, get the hips all the way round. Face the clapping hands, twist and clap, and wide. We'll do two more on each side. And wide, twist and clap, Arms wide, last one, each way, and wide, last one, and wide to finish. Very good, well done. Okay, so we're going to do a rock and reach. This is another power move. We're going to go from a low position all the way through to a reach. So the reach occurs with a step, a reach to the same side, and the opposite arm goes away. If you have a band, this could be very useful. I'll show you without a band. Without a band, we're going to go down to the get ready position that we've used lots already in this class. So down to get ready, we're going to step and reach and take the other arm away. So this arm, we don't really want it to float around, we might as well include it. So down to get ready, step and reach and bring it across. If you feel that you've got that and it's quite straightforward, step and reach, both arms out together. Down to get ready, step and reach, both arms out together. If you have a band, even better, you can't do this one with a tea towel, sorry, but if you have a band, down to get ready, step and reach, nice and wide across your body. Same thing to the other side, and that kind of forces you not to forget the low hand. So I'm gonna use a band for this one, but remember to use your hands, and go for jazz hands, have some fun. Jazz hands, it will remind you to wake up that lower hand and really, really work into it, okay. So we're gonna do 10 of these, five each way, down to your same get ready, unlock position. Nice and strong, upper chest up. Let's go, step and reach and hold. Down to get ready. So a little bit dynamic, step and reach and hold. Down to get ready, so don't forget those jazz hands. Let's go up the other way and hold. Down to get ready and again, keep it going and hold. Down to get ready, nearly halfway, let's go. Up and reach, very nice. And down, and over the other way, that's number six. 
Very good. Down to get ready. There's a bit of a push with the legs, a bit of momentum. And down to get ready. Push and reach and hold. Down to get ready. Two left. Let's go. Up and reach. Very good. Down to get ready. Rock and reach and hold. Very nice. And get rid of your back. Okay, well done. Okay, so we're going to take uh, scarves. So if you have floaty scarves, if you only have one, we're going to do a flick on one side and let go and catch, and you can change that to the other side. If you have something that's light, you can still do that. Whoa, mine's a little bit heavier than this floaty one, so I'll have to be quick. And if you only have a tea towel, you can do it with a tea towel. Go for your lightest tea towel that you've got because this will drop more quickly as well, but you can still work on that snatch. So this might be a familiar exercise to lots of people who, are, who have Parkinson's and are already exercising. I want us to take it just up a level today. So we'll start with the basic and then we'll move it up the level. So we're gonna take the scarf, we're gonna take a step and flick it, and we're gonna to step to catch it. So we're going to aim as well as flicking the scarf in the air to have our feet moving. So a really dynamic moving feet. So I'll show you a couple, join in when you're ready. We're going to step and reach, step to find it, change sides, step and reach, step to catch it. So you snatch the scarf like it matters. So step and move. So keep your feet moving, really coordinate that. Okay, if you haven't started, let's go. So over to one side, let it linger, snatch it, move your feet. Over to the other side, let it linger, and keep your feet moving. All the way up and all the way down. So make that flick up as big as you can, make your hands really, really work, and really let it linger, step into it and snatch it. So a little bit more aggressive, and all the way through and down, all the way up, and snatch it. If you've got a heavier scarf or a tea towel, you're going to be moving a little bit harder. So all the way through. Whoa, I've got to move quickly. So really move my feet. I quite like that. Maybe next time we'll just use a tea towel. Okay, so all the way up. Really, really move. Well done. Do two more on each side. Keep it going. All the way through. All the way up. Move the feet. Last one each side. Big step. And the other way, big step, well done. Okay, scarves down, uh, tea towel down. Okay, so we're gonna do power steps. These are lunges effectively, but we're gonna work on being nice and powerful and moving in each direction. So before we do this, we're gonna set ourselves up and just check where our balance is and also where our weight is going. So let me explain. So we take a lunge forward, one foot forward, the other foot stays in the same spot. And what we really want is for our weight to be between our feet. So we don't want to step forward and be here, and we don't want to be reluctant at stepping forward and be here. So if you're not sure about your balance in this position, then you need to take a smaller step so that you, your weight can be between the two legs. The other really important component is what the back toe is doing. So as I go forwards, that back toe big toe is anchored on the floor really nicely. And if that's not familiar to you, then just work a few into there. Go into the step, pop the toe down and see how stable it feels. Move your weight and make sure it's nice and dynamic. So be careful, hold the chair if you want to through these practices and you're not sure of your balance, but really work into, is my weight in the middle? Do I feel sturdy? And actually, yeah, my back toe's okay. Now for some people, those back toes are a bit stiff and sore. If that's you, then really make sure that your lunge isn't too big. But do practice and work at it. Okay, so we're going to do this in each direction. So we'll start with one leg, go forwards, side, back to the back toe, back to the other toe, out to the other side and in front. If you don't have enough space to go backwards, then go on and just keep going forwards, side, change sides and go forwards. If you want to really work on, as we have been done, keep it doing, keeping your upper chest up, you can hold your band or your tea towel on the diagonal and you can do it like this and you can even add on a stretch as you go to the side. I'm not gonna use my band today, but if you want to and that feels comfortable for you, then go ahead. 
Okay, so let's get ourselves ready. We'll go round the whole cycle three times. Let's go. Step forward and together. So I'm going to take my arms out with me as I move and go in and out of the movement. If you're holding your band, you're going to hold it there and keep going. So let's go round again, forwards, together, to the side and together, arms up, back to the toe, change sides, back to the other toe, out the other way and together, forwards and together. We've got one more cycle, let's go. Forwards to the lunge, back feet together, out to the side, feet together, back to the toe, arms come up, back to the other toe, nice posture, out to the side and in and forwards and together, well done, very nice. Okay, so we've one last vigorous exercise and then just a cool down at the end, so we're nearly there, well done guys. So the last exercise is a diagonal weight shift with a vigorous flick. So I'm going to take my scarves and I'll show you an alternative without the scarves, not with your tea towel, with nothing. So if you have scarves, even if you only have one, you can take it up really, really nice and big, as high as you can go. Think about being vigorous and flick it down to the outside of the opposite floor, floor foot, apologies. So all the way up, all the way out, on the floor, on the opposite foot. So it's really, really vigorous and take this steady. If this is really hard work for you, then slow it down or we'll take a break in the middle. If you don't have the scarves or a scarf, then imagine that you have a ball in your hand. And for some reason, it's really important that you take that ball from here and vigorously push it on the floor. So all the way up, all the way down. So you choose what you're going to do. I'll do my scarves for the first side. We'll do 10 on each side, and then I'll use my imaginary ball for the second side. So set yourself up, feet will move in a way. We should still be working nice and light, work on and off of the front of our feet. So set yourself up, let's get ready, let's go all the way over, all the way down, big flick. Bend that knee that you're going across to, down to the floor. Lots and lots of power, this is your last really effortful exercise, all the way up, all the way down. Loads of power, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down, well done. All the way up, all the way down. Two to go, all the way up, all the way down. Last one, all the way over, all the way down. Very nice. Get ready for your other side. I'm gonna have my imaginary ball. Take your time. If you need to get your heart rate down, then wait and join in when you're ready. Let's go. Taking the ball in the air, down to the floor. Nice bit of weight shift one side to the other. All the way over, all the way down. All the way over, all the way down. Really big, tummy working, chest up. Loads of power, lots of really useful movements going on here. Flick it all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Three to go, all the way up. All the way down, loads of power, keep it going to the end. Do your best. Last one, all the way down. Woo! Well done, okay. So we're nearly finished. Let's just open ourselves up, having been down to the floor. Take your arms up to the air. Get your heart rate down a little bit. Take some nice breaths all the way through and round. Good, so really open up your chest. Feel that your tummy's working and take a pause. So, just to finish, we'll do a tiny bit of balance work. Uh, just working into our ankles, getting them nice and steady. We've done lots of active movement. So let's just do a tiny bit of active balance to finish. So if you feel like you might be a bit unsteady, use the back of your chair. Or if you're really not sure, stand with the chair in front of you. So I'm gonna take my weight to one foot and the other one and just gently see how I feel. So that doesn't feel too bad. So see if you can start to take a little bit more time standing on one leg, nice and slowly, and kind of wake yourself up to, oh yeah, I'm gonna balance, okay? And just gradually increase 
the weight that you're taking into each foot. So do that at your level, and if that's your level, stop at that level. Don't do more. If you want to hold it for longer, you think, well, this is easy. Then we're going to add on and do a little bit more. So if that was easy for you, or you just want the extra challenge, make sure that you're safe. And for the extra challenge today, we're going to take the leg up, and we're going to make sure we're balanced, and then we're going to tap the foot in front, tap it to the side, tap it to the back, and keep going and make your ankle of the standing leg just have to work a little bit. So you might feel like I do, that my foot's wobbling a bit, but actually I'm coping. So when you need to, put that foot down, give the standing leg a breather, and change to the other side. So foot up, get your balance going, set it up first, then the lifted leg taps in front, to the side, behind you, You'll feel the standing legs start to move. And this is good, this is dynamic balance. That's your standing leg really working out that it's got control. So do that on both sides, nice and steady. And then when you do it again, whichever level you're on, whether you're just holding or whether you're tapping your foot, make sure that you're not focusing on the floor or staring at the screen, but see how light your vision is. So try not to focus with your eyes and really, really lift yourself so that your body's doing the work and actually your eyes are pretty free. You don't need to add head turning uh, yet, maybe in a different class. So make sure you've done that on both feet and then we're finished. So a nice tap, nice and controlled, ankle working well, nice and steady and down. Shake out your legs. We'll do a full body stretch and reach in a deep breath. So touch the floor all the way up to the ceiling. Deep breath in, hold the breath. Out to the side, we'll do one more. Big breath in, up to the ceiling. Big breath in, hold it. Keep your chest lifted and nice and relaxed. Well done guys, thanks for coming. If you feel like you want to stretch, at the end of the class then go back to the stretches that were at the beginning take them nice and steady as i said before don't bounce on your stretches just like let, let the stretch work into any tension in your muscles thank you for coming and have a good day